Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, please have both the survey report and PowerPoint presentation printed out and follow along as we demonstrate how to count cases on the TCVAP survey case flows report. During our presentation today, all attendees will be muted. Questions can be asked through the question feature on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. Um, if you can please include the slide number for your question or the example number, um, please include that as many of our examples are a bit similar. Um, be sure to include this for us to, um, for us to answer your question. We will have time at the end of the presentation to answer questions, but we will be stopping at the end of each category. If we don't have any questions at that time, um, we'll be moving on and answering the remaining questions at the end of the presentation. This webinar was created by the California Department of Social Services Refugee Programs Bureau. Our presenters for today are Heriberto Camarena, Program Analyst, Julio Ortiz Rios, Policy Analyst, and moderating questions is Tang Zhang, Program Analyst. This webinar is intended to assist analysts, coordinators, program managers, fiscal staff, consortia staff, and any other staff assigned to complete the TCVAP survey data report. The purpose of this presentation is to assist the counties to complete the Trafficking and Crime Victims Assistance Program TCVAP survey data report. Our goals for today will be to assist the counties to complete the TCVAP survey and provide accurate data, provide examples and explanations of the survey categories, provide additional resources on time studying and data collection. Following the demonstrations, a list of the ACLs, ACNs, CFLs, and regulations will be included for references on this presentation. Now, looking at the Excel spreadsheets of the TCVAP survey caseload report, there are six tabs in the workbook. The first tab is where the demographic info of the person filing out the report is entered. The next page and the rest of the report is broken down into five categories. Each category is reported on separate spreadsheets. The first two categories are for TCVAP cash assistance clients in the T and U visa category. The two next categories are for the CalRx clients in the T and U visa categories. And then the last category is for the non-cash aided clients who will receive TCVAP social services. Each category is reported in a different spreadsheet of the TCVAP survey reporting tool. The first category we are going to cover is the TCVAP cash assistance for trafficking victims in the T visa category. This applies to adults without children living in the assistance unit or who are otherwise ineligible for other cash assistance. For this group, the MEDS aid code that is used is the 1V aid code, which was developed to be used in conjunction with an alien eligibility code, W, to identify these cases. The W alien eligibility code is used to indicate a non-citizen victim of trafficking who is in the process of applying for a T visa has applied for a T visa or is taking the steps to become certified for federal benefits by the Federal Office of Refugee Resettlement. Now let's walk through the TCVAP survey report to see which spreadsheet and columns use to report this group. The data entry for the TCVAP cash assistance trafficking victims is divided in four columns. Column A1 to report unduplicated new cases of trafficking victims for each month on the report. Column A2 to report unduplicated new other members that are in the assistance units for each month. And column B1 to report unduplicated ongoing cases of trafficking victims for each month. And column B2, to report unduplicated ongoing other members that are part of the trafficking victim assistance unit for each month. <clears throat> Please note that new cases and ongoing cases represent the number of victims. In a case where there is more than one victim in the assistance unit, 
the other victims should be counted as other members. New other members and ongoing other members represent other adults that are part of the assistance unit. I'm now going to turn it over to our TCDOC survey analyst, Harry Puerto Camarena, to walk us through some examples of this group. We have created the following examples that Harry Puerto would go over. Welcome to the TCDOC webinar training, and thank you for taking the time to attend this presentation. Since the last TCDOC survey, we have received some questions, and we use those questions to create these examples. Example number one, a single person becomes eligible for cash assistance in July 2016. This person has one other eligible adult member living in the assistance unit. This information will be entered in the July 16 row on column A1, Enter one for the trafficking victim, and on column A2, enter one for the other eligible adult member living in the assistance unit. On column B1 and B2, enter zero. Note that if your county has ongoing cases from previous months, you have to report those cases so they can be counted and accumulated with the ongoing cases and the ongoing members living in the assistance unit. Also note that the other adult member does not necessarily have to be another victim. It could be the victim's spouse or parent that lives in the assistance unit and is eligible for TCVAP benefits. Example number two, a single adult without any other adults living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for cash assistance in August 2016. This information will be entered in the August 16 row. On column A1, enter one for the single adult. On column A2, enter zero because there are no other adults living in the assistance unit. In this case, we are counting the new cases from July 16. So on column B1, enter one, and on column B2, enter one. Example number three, no new cases for September 2016. However, we have ongoing cases that continue to be eligible for TCVAP cash assistance. This information will be entered in the September 16 row. On column A1 and A2, enter zero because there are no new cases for this month. On column B1, enter two, that totals the number of ongoing cases from previous months. On column B2, enter one, that totals the number of ongoing other members in the assistance unit from previous month. Example number four. In October 2016, a single adult without any other adults living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for cash assistance. A single adult, also a single adult with two eligible adults living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for cash assistance. And the single adult that was eligible for cash assistance in August 16 is no longer eligible for cash assistance starting October 16. This information will be entered in the October 16 row. On column A1, enter two for the two new cases. On column A2, enter two for the two eligible other adults living in the assistance unit. On column B1, enter one case because there is one case from previous month that is no longer eligible for cash assistance. And on column B2, enter one for the ongoing other member living in the assistance unit. Note that the number of ongoing cases and ongoing other members were accumulated after each example. Also note that the counties are not responsible to enter the total amounts. This information will be automatically calculated. 
And I'm going to pass the microphone to Julia for the next category. Thank you. And the column that Harry Ruto was referring to is the blue column on the right-hand side. That will automatically be populated as you enter numbers into the columns they want to be to in the white areas of the survey report. The next category is the TCBAP Cash Assistance for Domestic Violence by the Crime Victims, the visa categories that we're going to be covering. This category applies to adults without children living in the assistance unit or who are otherwise ineligible for other cash assistance. In the meds, the 1V aid code was developed to be used in conjunction with the alien eligibility code X or Y to identify these cases. The X eligibility code is to be used for a non-citizen victim of domestic violence or other serious crime who has filed a U visa application. And the Y eligibility code is to be used for a non-citizen victim of domestic violence or other serious crime whose U visa has been approved. The data entry for the TCVAP cash assistance for domestic violence other crime victims is located on a separate tab and is divided in four categories or columns. Column A1 to report unduplicated new cases of domestic violence other crime victims for each month. Column A2 to report unduplicated new other members that are part of the domestic violence or other crime victims assistance unit for each month. Column B1 to report unduplicated ongoing cases of domestic violence or other crime victims for each month. And column B2 to report unduplicated ongoing other members that are part of the domestic violence other crime victims assistance unit for each month. Please note that new cases and ongoing cases represent the number of victims. In a case where there is more than one victim in the assistance unit, the other victims should be counted as other members. New other members and ongoing other members represent other adults that are part of the assistance unit. We created some examples to demonstrate how to enter the numbers into the spreadsheet. Harry Brito will now go over these examples with you. Example number one. A single person becomes eligible for cash assistance in July 2016. This person has two eligible adult members living in the assistance unit. This information will be entered in the July 16 row. On column A1, enter one for the victim, and on column A2, enter two for the eligible adult members living in the assistance unit. On column B1 and B2, enter zero, unless there are previous cases to report. Example number two, a single adult with one non-eligible adult living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for cash assistance in August 2016. This information will be entered in the August 16 row. On column A1, enter 1 for the single adult. On column A2, enter 0 because the other adult living in the assistance unit is not eligible for benefits. Do not report members that are not receiving assistance, even if they live in the assistance unit. In this case, we are counting the new cases from July 16. On column B1, enter 1, and on column B2, enter 2, the, the, those cases are from previous month. Example number three. We have no new cases in September 2016, and the single person that was eligible for cash assistance in July 16 is no longer eligible for cash assistance starting September 16. This information will be entered in September 16 row. On column A1 and A2, enter zero because there are no new cases for this month. On column B1, enter one that totals the number of ongoing cases. And on column B2, enter zero. 
Note that the case that is no longer eligible was not counted for this month. Example number four. In October 2016, a single adult without any other adults living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for cash assistance. Also, a single adult with one eligible adult living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for cash assistance. And the non-eligible adult from August 16 living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for cash assistance starting October 16. Note that this example, note that in this example, there are three cases with a different situation. This information will be entered in the October 16 row. On column A1, enter two for the two new cases. On column A2, enter one for the eligible other adult living in the assistance unit. On column B1, enter one that totals the number of ongoing cases. And on column B2, enter two for the ongoing other members living in the assistance unit that became eligible for benefits. Note that this member is counted as ongoing members, as an ongoing member, because it is part of an ongoing case. Now I'm going to pass the microphone to Julia for the next carry on. Thank you. All right, we just checked in to see if we had any questions for these two categories. It doesn't look like we do. So um, if some questions do come up, please write those down in the questions tab with the slide number. Um, and we'll get to those at the end of the presentation. We're now going to be moving on to the CalWORKs category. TCVAP CalWORKs for Trafficking Victims category applies to adults with children, pregnant women in their third trimester, and children who are victims of trafficking the T visa or working towards becoming eligible for a T visa. In the MEDS, the R18 code was developed to be used in conjunction with the Alien Eligibility Code W, which is used to identify trafficking victims in the TCVAP. The W Eligibility Code is to be used for a non-citizen victim of trafficking who is in the process of applying for a T visa, has applied for a T visa, or is taking the steps to become certified by the Federal Office of Refugee Resettlement for Federal Benefits. The data entry for TCVAP CalWORKs for trafficking victims is divided into six columns. All counts are unduplicated. The first three columns include unduplicated new case counts columns A1 to report new trafficking victims for each month, column A2 to report other members who are part of the new trafficking victims assistance unit, column A3 to report children that are part of the new cases. Ongoing cases for this category are captured in the next three columns. Column B1 to report unduplicated ongoing cases of trafficking victims for each month, column B2 to report other members that are part of the Trafficking Victims Assistance Unit, and column B3 to report children that are part of the Trafficking Victims Assistance Unit. Please note that new cases and ongoing cases represent the number of victims. In a case where there is more than one victim in the Assistance Unit, the other victims should be counted as other members or children. The new other members and ongoing other members represent other adults that are part of the assistance unit. The new children and then ongoing children represent the children that are part of the assistance unit. We created the following six examples to demonstrate um, this category. I'm now going to turn it over to Hedy Brisco to walk us through this. Example number one. A single adult with one child becomes eligible for TCVAP CalWORKs in July 2016. This information will be entered in the July 16 row. On column A1, 
enter 1 for the trafficking victim on column A2, enter 0 because there are no other adults living in the assistance unit, and on column A3, enter 1 for the child living in the assistance unit. On column B1, B2, and B3, enter 0 unless there are cases from previous months to report. Example number two, a family of two adults and three children are eligible for TCVAP CalWORS in August 2016. In this case, two members of the family were victims of trafficking. Please write in the comment section of this form that there are two victims in the family. This information will allow the RPD to obtain the correct amount of victims. This information will be entered in the August 16 row. On column A1, enter 1 for the trafficking victim. On column A2, enter 1 for the other eligible adult living in the assistance unit. On column A3, enter 3 for the children living in the assistance unit. On column B1, enter 1. That totals the number of ongoing cases. On column B2, enter 0 because there are no prior other adult ongoing members living in the assistance unit. And on column B3, enter 1. That totals the number of children living in the assistance unit from previous month. And write, a comment, and write in the comment section of this form that there are two victims in the assistance unit. Notice how the data on column B1, B2, and B3 accumulates after each example. Also note that the number of cases represent the number of victims. And since there are two victims in this case, the note that you write on the comment section will allow us to obtain the number of victims for our final report. Example number three. A minor is a trafficking victim. The minor lives with two parents that are non-eligible residents and two other eligible children. The child becomes eligible for TCVAP CalWORS in September 2016. In this case, Please write in the comment section of this form that there are no eligible adults in the assistance unit. This information will allow us to obtain the correct number of individuals. This information will be entered in the September 16 row. On column A1, enter 1 to come for the victim. On column A2, enter 0 because there are no, no eligible other adults in the assistance unit. On column A3, enter 3 to count for all the eligible children living in the assistance unit, including the victim. On column B1, enter 2. That totals the number of ongoing cases. On column B2, enter 2. That totals the number of other ongoing members living in the assistance unit. And on column B3, enter 4. That totals the number of ongoing children living in the assistance unit. And write in the comment section that a child is affected in the, in the, in the bottom of, the, of this spreadsheet. Example number four. A single pregnant woman with no other children and no other adult members in the assistance unit becomes eligible for TCVAP CalWORS in October 2016. In this case, please write in the comment section of this form that the participant is pregnant with no other children in the assistance unit. This information, information will allow us to analyze the data and count this case as a TCVAP case as a TCVAP CalWORKS case. This information will be entered in the October 16 row. On column A1, enter 1 for the pregnant woman. On column A2, 
enter zero because there are no other adults living in the assistance unit. On column A3, enter zero because there are no other children living in the assistance unit. On column B1, enter three. That totals the number of ongoing cases. On column B2, enter one. That totals the number of ongoing members living in the assistance unit. And on column B3, enter seven. That totals the number of children living in the assistance unit from previous months. And that I comment to inform the RPB that there is a pregnant mother. Example number five. The single pregnant woman who was eligible to receive services in October 2016 is adding the newborn to the assistance unit in November 16. Uh, we have no new cases in November 2016. In this case, you add the child as an ongoing children in the assistance unit because it is part of an ongoing case. This information will be entered in the November 16 row. On column A1, A2, and A3, enter zero because there are no new cases in this month. On column B1, enter 4. That totals the number of ongoing cases from previous months. On column B2, enter 1. That totals the number of other ongoing members living in the assistance unit from previous months. And on column B3, enter 8. That totals the number of ongoing children living in the assistance unit. This includes the newborn. And write in the comment section that there is a new uh, that the newborn was added for this month. Example number six. A single adult with three children that are already receiving CalWORS benefits under federal funds becomes eligible for TCBAP CalWORS in December 2016. Note that in mixed cases. All the eligible members in the assistance unit will, will have to receive benefits from TCBAP CalWORS in aid code R1. This case will be counted as new case in December 2016. Note that the victim is no longer note that once the victim is no longer eligible for TCBAP CalWORS, the other members are to be switched back to the federal funds aid code if they are still eligible for benefits. This information will be entered in the December 16th row. On column A1, enter one for the new single adult. On column A2, enter zero because there are no other members living in the assistance unit. On column A3, enter three for the children that now will be receiving benefits from TCBAP CalWORS. On column B1, enter 4. That totals the number of ongoing cases from previous months. On column B2, enter 1. That totals the number of other ongoing members living in the assistance unit from previous months. And on column B3, enter 8. That totals the number of ongoing children living in the assistance unit from previous months. And I'm going to turn the microphone to Julia for the next category. Thank you. The next category we're going to cover is the TCVAP CalWORKs for domestic violence and other crime victims, which applies to adults with children, pregnant women in their third trimester, and children who are victims of domestic violence or other crime for U visas. Per ACL 0949, these can include any of the following state-funded CalWORKs aid codes, 3E, 3G, 3H, 3L, 3M, 3U, or 3W. It should also be used in conjunction with the alien eligibility codes X or Y to identify the case as a TCVAP CalWORKs U visa case. The X alien eligibility code is to be used for a non-citizen victim of domestic violence or other serious crime who has filed a U visa application. And the Y code is to be used for a non-citizen victim of domestic violence 
for other serious crimes whose U visa has been approved. The data entry for TCVAP cowards for domestic violence or other crime victims is divided into six columns. All counts are unduplicated. The first three columns include new case counts, column A1 to report new unduplicated cases of domestic violence or other crime victims for each month, columns A2 to report other members that are part of the domestic violence or other crime victim assistance unit, and column A3 to report children that are part of the new assistance unit for each month. Ongoing cases for this category are captured in the next three columns. Column B1 to report unduplicated ongoing cases of domestic violence or other crime victims for each month. Column B2 to report other members that are part of the assistance unit. And column B3 to report children that are part of the domestic violence or other crime victims assistance unit for each month. Please note that new cases and ongoing cases represent the number of victims. In a case where there is more than one victim in the assistance unit, the other victims should be counted as other members or children. The new other members and ongoing other members represent other adults that are part of the assistance unit. The new children and ongoing children represent the children that are part of the assistance unit. We have created some examples to demonstrate how to enter these numbers into the spreadsheet. I'm going to turn it over to Harry Bertha to walk us through this. Thank you, Julia. Example number one. A single adult with two children become eligible for TCVAP calvers in July 2016. This information will be entered in the July 16 draw on column A1, enter one for the victim. On column A2, enter zero because there are no other adults living in the assistance unit. On column A3, enter two for the children living in the assistance unit. On columns B1, B2, and B3, enter zero unless there are previous cases to report. Example number two. A single adult and three children are eligible for TCVAP calvers in August 2016. In this case, two members of the family were victims of domestic violence or other crime. Please write in the comment section that there are two victims in the family. This information will allow us to obtain the correct amount of victims. This information will be entered in the August 16 row. On column A1, enter one for the victim. On column A2, enter zero because there are no other adults living in the assistance unit. On column A3, enter three for the children living in the assistance unit, including the other victim. On column B1, enter one that follows the number of ongoing cases on column B2, enter zero because there are no other because there are no prior other adult ongoing members living in the assistance unit. And on column B3, enter two that totals the number of children living in the assistance unit from previous months. And writing a comment to inform us that there are two victims in the assistance unit. This information will allow us to obtain the correct amount of victims for our final report. Example number three. A minor is a crime victim. The minor lives with two parents that are non-eligible residents and two other eligible children. The child becomes eligible, eligible for TCVAP calvers in September 2016. In this case, please write in the comment section that there are no eligible adults in the assistance unit. This information will allow us to obtain the correct number of individuals. This information will be entered in the September 16 row. On column May 1, enter 1 to count for the victim and for the case. And on column A2, enter 0 because there are no 
eligible older adults living in the assisted living. On column A3, enter 3 to come for all the eligible children in the assistance unit, including, including the victim. It is important to count all the children because um, that will allow us to obtain the correct amount of children for our final report. On column B1, enter 2, that totals the number of ongoing cases. On column B2, enter 0, because there are no prior adults, adult ongoing members living in the assistance unit. And on column B3, enter 5. That totals the number of ongoing children living in the assistance unit from previous months. And try to comment to inform the RPB that a child is a victim. Example number four. A single pregnant woman with one non-eligible adult member and no other children living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for TCVAP cardboards in October 2016. In this case, please write in the comment section that the participant is pregnant with no other children in the assistance unit. This information will allow us to analyze the data and count this client as a TCVAP cardboards. This information will be entered in the October 16 row. On column A1, enter 1 for the pregnant woman. On column A2, enter 0 because there are no other adult living in the assistance unit. And the, um, because the adult living in the assistance unit is not eligible for benefits. And on column A3, enter 0 because there are no other children living in the assistance unit. On column B1, enter 3, that throws the number of ongoing cases. On column B2, enter 0, that throws the number of ongoing members living in the assistance unit. On column B3, enter 8, that throws the number of children living in the assistance unit from previous months. And there are a comment to inform the RPP that there is a pregnant woman <coughs> in October 2016. Example number five, the single pregnant woman who was eligible to receive services in October 2016 is adding the newborn in the assistance unit. And also the adult living in the assistance unit becomes eligible for benefits. We have no new cases in, in November 2016 to report. In this case, you add the child as ongoing children in the assistance unit and the other adult member as an ongoing member in the assistance unit because they are part of an ongoing case. This information will be entered in the November 16th draw. On column A1, A2, and A3, enter zero because there are no new cases for this month of report. On Column B1, enter 4, that totals the number of ongoing cases from previous months. On column B2, enter 1, that totals the number of ongoing members living in the assistance unit. Note that then, that the um, now eligible adult was added in this column. And on column B3, enter 9, that totals the number of ongoing children living in the assistance unit. This includes a newborn. And write in the comment section that in November 16, you added uh, two new members. Example number six, a family of two adults and three children become eligible for TCVAP calvers in November, in December 2016. The three children are already receiving calvers benefits from under federal funds. This case will be counted as new case in December 16. Note that once the victim is no longer eligible for TCVAP calvers, the other members will be have to switch back to federal funds if they are still eligible for benefits. This information will be entered in the December 16 draw. On column A1, enter one for the new victim. On column A2, 
and their one to count for the other adult member living in the assistance unit. On column A3, enter 3, for the three children that now will be receiving benefits from TCVAP calculus. On column B1, enter 4, that totals the number of ongoing cases from previous months. On column B1, enter 1, that totals the number of ongoing members living in the assistance unit from previous months. And on column B3, enter 9 that tells the number of ongoing children living in the assistance unit from previous months. Now I'm going to pass the microphone to Julia for the last category. Thank you. Before we move on to our next category, uh, we're going to check in to see if there are any additional questions. Okay, great. It looks like all of our questions have been answered um, in our previous categories. If you do have a question, please enter your question and the slide number within the questions bar um, on the GoToWebinar panel. So the next and final category we're going to cover is the non-cash aided clients receiving social services, which applies to individuals who are no longer receiving cash assistance or never were eligible for cash assistance but are currently eligible to receive social services such as employment, child care, Medi-Cal, housing assistance, CalFresh, or other eligible programs. This data is used to formulate allocations for services in the TCVAP for those clients not receiving cash aid. The data entry for non-cash aided clients receiving social services is divided into two columns. A1 to report new cases of TCVAP non-aided clients for each month, and A2 to report ongoing cases of TCVAP non-aided clients for each month. Here we have created some examples to demonstrate these categories. I'm going to now turn it over to Harry Bertho to walk us through this. Thank you, Julia. Example number one, a single adult victim of trafficking with three children becomes eligible for social services in July 2016. However, nobody in the family is eligible for cash assistance. The family is receiving English language training. In this category, you only count the number of cases, not individuals. This information will be entered in the July 16th row. On column A1, enter 1 to count for one case. On column A2, enter 0. Unless your county has, if your county has um, previous cases to report. Example number 2. A single adult victim, a single adult victim of domestic violence has time out of cash assistance benefits, but is still eligible for employment in ESL classes starting August 2016. This information will be entered in the August 16 row. On column A1, enter 1 to come for one case, and on column A2, enter 1 that totals the number of ongoing cases from previous months. Example number three. A family of two adults and three children become eligible for TCVAP, a TCVAP T visa or U visa in September 2016. However, the family does not meet the income eligibility requirements, but is eligible for medical and ESL classes. This information will be entered in the September 16 row. On column A1, enter 1 to come for one case. And on column A2, enter 2, that follows the number of ongoing cases from previous months. This concludes our session of examples. I'm going to turn the microphone to Julia for, uh, to review some questions. Thank you. So here we have a list of our resources available that were referenced throughout the presentation. We have ACL's 
ACIN, and CFL Center Regulations. And we also have our website that you can always go to um, to reference. So that concludes our presentation. We're going to pause one moment for questions and give you a chance to go ahead and type those questions in. Okay, it looks like Jacqueline has a question. Um, if you could go ahead and write that question in the questions tab, um, you can go ahead and get that answered. Okay, there is a question uh, regarding if there's going to be a recording of this training available after. Um, we are going to get that together, and once it's available, um, we will email that out to all the attendees. We have a question. The question is if um, CalFresh and Medical are part of um, social services. Yes, they are part of social services. Also, income supportive services, uh, educational services, um, child care and um, any other services that are part of the um, client um, um, service plan to become self-sufficient. Okay, we do have one clarification on a previous slide that we do want to point out before everybody goes. I'm going to go ahead and go back to that slide so that we can explain to you what we mean. I'm going to turn it over to Harry Brickell. Okay, um, as we mentioned before that uh, this is that non-cash non aid clients only counts cases. I want to point out that I, right here on, on the on column A, A1 plus A2, okay. A1 plus A2, uh, the title says uh, stays the uh, total of participants. That is the error. It should be total of cases. So um, I want to clarify this so you won't get confused that we are counting cases instead of uh, individuals. Thank you. Okay, it looks like that was our last question. Um, so if you do have any remaining questions, please go ahead and email Harry with our I um, so that we can get those to you. 
Um, if any other questions do come in, we will email those out to everybody so everybody has that information available. Um, thank you everybody for joining and that concludes our presentation. Have a great day.